Welcome back to Walls A Day, where Walls Today is Fantavision, the 1985 release running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. I've got a uh, disk drive sound emulation enabled, so you can hear the disk drive loading because uh, there's a good amount of loading here. I'm, I've got it actually loading on side B here, the uh, demo side of the disk. Uh, yeah, this is Fantavision, an animation program by Scott Anderson for the Apple II. Uh, also for the uh, 2GS, Amiga, and MS-DOS. Getting some great disk drive sounds here. <laughs> Escape for instructions, and it's gonna load up. Got a demo disk here. Uh, we've got the controls here. Return to skip, space to pause, L to loop, arrows to change direction, speed, uh, fast to slow. Escape to stop or start. I'm gonna hit escape. I was going to say that this is not uh, Fantavision uh, 2000, the fireworks program, but uh, Fantavision is proving me wrong here. This is Fantavision. <laughs> this is also not uh, Fantavision 2020X. Uh, apparently a new 2023 uh, game for the PS5. Also fireworks. Let's see what this we're being welcomed to here. It says, welcome to Fantavision. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty cool uh, animation program. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, oh, making a making an Apple logo here. All jokes aside, some of these are really beautiful. I mean, it's great. It's fantastic. I mean, incredible. Zero notes. I'm just going to uh, sit back and relax and, and watch some of this. We've got Dear Mom, I Love, Camp, and You, Too. Tim. Tim. Okay. It's from Tim. We got we got fish here. All this created with Fantavision. I mean this is actually this is actually pretty impressive. This is some nice morphing. Fish morphing into a snake here. Into a parrot. Snake into a parrot. What are we gonna see next? Who can say back into a fish? Unbelievable. Uh, so it said, what, uh, let's see here. I don't know what speed we're at right now. Let's try one. This is the fastest, I think. Oh, now we're going. Oh, wow, that's one. Okay, two, maybe. Let's, like, uh, keep it comprehensible here. That's three right now. Let's do two, maybe. Speed it up a little bit. There we go. We got snakes, we got planes. We got volcanoes. Some nice lava effects. Now I'm excited to flip the disc and see uh, what we can get into. I don't know how much uh, animation I'm actually going to do here on the stream. We'll figure it out. I have not seen this part, so I don't know. This is like, oh, it's going to be a spider with huge antennae. Nice. I'm glad I'm recording all of this. Viking ship? Or just some kind of ship. And some nice uh, birds. Here we go. Yeah. If anyone wants to like bring this back for vaporwave animations, here you go. Fantavision. Put this on a CRT filter. You're done. You don't need to even need to do anything else. To one. Wow. Uh, strobe warning. R uh, rotating a cube in our mind here today, once again. Some good effects on the Apple II here. I mean, that's that's nice. You could use that for like a video transition, video title screen. Uh, local broadcast TV station bumpers, you know. DNA. Excellent. I have to say, I don't think I was ever uh, familiar with this program back in the day. But it looks incredible. And it just keeps on delivering, I mean... 
I never know what I'm going to see next. I, I, I hesitate to interrupt this demo at all. Because it just keeps delivering. It's nothing but hits here. This is like 1985. I mean, that's 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 pretty good for this this time on Apple II. I think the only requirement is like 64K, maybe. It's tossing that S. Sell. Sale. Sale. This is like the Pixar animation. This is great. No, it's just just sale. Okay. Shadows. Wow. We got shadows, folks. You said you think we don't have shadows? You think we can't do shadows on the Apple II? Well, let me show you something. Check this out. Shadows. Oh. A skull. Apparently this is like a morph-based uh, animation program, so you can uh, create frames and then it will automatically do the tweening for you, so it's kind of revolutionary for animation. Although apparently you can't draw uh, like smooth Bezier curves, so, so the one gotcha. I have no idea what's going on anymore. This is amazing, though. Millions. the goal there okay okay wait, hit the goal yeah oh wait what okay now we're doing the actual okay goal versus actual here oh actual good job actual great i mean okay i'll take it wow that's that's some smooth animation that's pretty good make your own billiards game it's that easy folks Oh, nice. The end. Is that the end of the demo? No. There's still more. We got hockey. You think we just got pool? We got hockey too. Let's hit one. Is that... Let's do two. I don't know if I want to watch a full hockey game at real time. Speed it up a little bit, you know. Let's see one, maybe. <laughs> I do want to see what else it has here. Oh, snowman. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Terrifying. That definitely didn't uh, get seared into any kid's memory. Play ball. Okay. Point. Darn. <laughs> wow. These are all amazing. We got shadows still. We got checkers. The two. Is it one? There we go. I'm gonna check our speed run here today. Parts of a flower. And one there. Okay. Really plucking it off. Use this for educational videos. And I think we're back to fireworks. I think we actually, we did finally complete the demo desk here in one. Let's see. Welcome to, yep. 
Phantom Vision. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. I think I'm going to uh, safely flip and hit escape. Um, yeah, so I think we've seen it all now. Let's go up here. Let's do media. Eject disk. Those nice sounds. Go to the program side. And then let's uh, reboot. There we go. Welcome back to Wazaday, where Wazaday is Phantom Vision. A 1985 release from Brittabund and Scott Anderson here. On the Apple IIe and Virtual 2, if you're just joining us, uh, the drawing tool is a mouse. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah, we, we, I've got a mouse. I've got a trackpad. Uh, so we can draw. We can draw. Oh, wow, there we go. Uh, do we have... We do have undo. Nice. Okay. How do I start a new, uh... Let's not do that. Escape? Nope. I don't know. We're getting into it here. Let's see. There's a manual also available on the, uh on the Internet Archive. Let's see here. Here's how Phantom Vision works. Winning and transformation. So we plot a series of points which the computer connects together to form objects. So yeah, that's apparent, but uh, I'm kind of trying to figure out how to clear... Let's see. Select that. Let's zap it. That's unsatisfying. Yes. Man, they don't let you zap anything anymore. Let's see. We've got a menu system here. Oh, 1985. That's the about file. Are there any existing movies? Let's see. Live movie. Drive one. Spider. Oh, man. This is this is really the, really the good stuff here. Let's, um, spider can can. Tree objects. Face. Red, white, blue. English font. Mikey. Trial. Trail, tra we got trail and trial. We got dance. Let's do a dance. Oh yes. Okay. Um. So I think this is the palettes here. Palettes and patterns. Um. Let's see where it gets in the manual into. It's the actual UI here. Okay. Okay, so from the top left, we got draw to uh, plot our points. And the object counter in the top right will tell you the number of the object you're currently working on by hiding that number in black. This number three is the film strip. I don't know where the film strip is. Let me. Let me see here. At the right of your oh, the, the right of our screen is the film strip. Okay, there we go. Sixteen squares with sprocket holes. Each of one of these squares represents eight frames. To tell what frame you're working on, look at the frame counter in the top right. Okay, so that's the frame counter. Never mind. I don't know where the object counter is. Maybe if we do this. Oh, okay. So the object counter is here. Yes. So we would be working with object one. Going through it here. Film strip. Film strip. Oh, nice. Go up. Excellent. Uh, yeah. This here is the grab point. We can grab any point and move it. This is insert point to insert points to a completed object. This is delete point to delete point. This is make a circle. So you can't make circles, you just can't make smooth curves. And then this is square. Make, re make rectangle. Make text. Capture box. Down here is the color palette. Uh, object status box. This displays the color and number of points in the current active object. Okay. Good to know. Uh, go. We'll run the current movie. 
uh, global 14 here. Changes to an object using the color palette, animation box, or dimension box will be made to the object automatically in all frames in which it appears. Okay. And then overlay allows you to preserve everything at any time to keep your animation and register. Okay. Okay, so you can use that to use one frame to guide another, I think. And the animation box over here. Uh, normal mode, background mode, lightning mode, and trace mode. Normal mode is an object animated normal mode will change from the object drawn in the current frame to the object drawn in the sequence frames. Based on uh, film speed, background mode will become the background. Uh, okay. So that way I guess you don't have to worry about lighting mode. This is for special effects such as the spider demo movie. Okay. Trace mode, uh, and I'll just leave its image behind. Okay. 17, over here, the dimension box. I think we're getting towards the end. I'm going to hit go after this. Uh, although all objects in Phantom Vision are drawn by plotting points, the objects themselves may be solid, shaped lines, or dots. So you can set uh, outlines, no outlines, lines, dots. Oh, we got goodies, too. Sorry, I'm going to get into the goodies. We got zoom, turn, lean, flip, and squash. Zoom is already activated. Um, you can zoom an object by 12% each time. Turn, you can uh, turn an object by 22.5 degrees. Lean, you can lean uh, to the left or right using the left and right arrows. Uh, flip, you can flip an uh, object horizontally with left or vertically with up down. Uh, squash, you can squash or stretch. And then we got the typical edit. And file. And then let's hit go. Let's finally see it. Let's hit go. Yes. Excellent. Can we have it tween? Is that... Do we need to set... So let's uh, background zap. I thought it would do more tweening, but maybe not file. I guess we're, we'll just load movie here. Let's see, what, let's see what's in the backdrops here. Eden trial. Is this, is this anything? No, that's not it. File. Load movie. Back. Uh, file. Load movie. Backdrops. Eden. Oh, so we can have him dance over that backdrop? Dancing in Eden. Okay. Sure. Why not? Uh, let's see here. Load movie. Can can. The same one. Oh no, they're they're can canning this time. Okay, so this this one is more more tweened. It just loops. We load another backdrop. I would think they would have more backdrops, but maybe not. Uh, they got Eden and Trial. That's it. We got, we, we got both kinds. Eden and Trial. Yeah. Go for it. Sure. Let's let's load another uh, animation here and see what we get. Load movie. Maybe this is clear back clear backdrop. Going into my actual file menu uh, too often here. Sorry. Tree dive people English font. Test. Mikey one. Mikey one. Mikey one intrigues me. Computer animate Mikey one. Mikey one go. I really have no idea what we're gonna see here. Gonna hit one to speed up animation. Okay, yeah. This is this is Mikey one. Um, okay. I think that's. I think I think I've had enough Mikey one. I'm good on Mikey one. The mystery is solved for me with Mikey one. I, I, I do want to see what objects we got. What do we have for objects? Objects. We got objects. Oh, he's juggling them. I wasn't expecting that. Are you? Let me do uh, a couple more of these. 
Get out of here. Face. Gotta go. Let's face. Load movie. Test. Go. Test. Okay. Yeah. I I don't know what I expected, but it, it yeah balls. Go. Yep. Balls. See what else we got. Uh, trail or trail? What do you think? Uh, let's do this trail. I think this will do it for me. Um, go. Yeah. That's a trail. But yeah, that's a pretty interesting uh, animation program here on the Apple II. Uh, if you wanna, if you wanna mess around with it, uh, Mikey enjoyed it apparently. I don't know if that's on the retail copy or if that's uh, just on the disc that I got dump dumped, but uh, yeah. This is going to do it here for me with uh, Phantom Vision for Waza Day. And if you like uh, interesting early Apple II productivity software like this, then go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.